What's up my favorite helicopter and aviation enthusiasts? Today we're going to be looking at the last of the Robinson helicopters and is what I'd also call Robinson's flagship helicopter, the Robinson R66. And this helicopter fits right into the line of Robinson helicopters, being what I believe is the cheapest fully type certified turbine engine helicopter in the entire world to operate. And in this video, I'm going to do an overview of this helicopter and show you why this helicopter with good performance is still economical to operate. And if you're new here and don't know me, my name is James Bodie and you are watching Relative Motion, the channel all about showing you the most interesting places in the world and the best means to get you there. And if at any point you enjoy this video, I really hope you consider subscribing down below because that's the best way to help more videos like this come your way. Here we go. The Robinson R66 helicopter is the newest of the Robinson helicopters, being introduced around 2011. And like I mentioned earlier, this is the flagship or largest and also most expensive helicopter that the Robinson Helicopter Company produces. The other two Robinson helicopters besides the R66 are the R44 and the R22. Both these helicopters I've already done videos on as well and I will link down in the description below. And if you want to know more about the Robinson helicopters, certainly check check out those videos below. But very briefly, the Robinson Helicopter Company is really all about making efficient and most importantly economical helicopters that are also fully type certified. And I would certainly say the Robinson R66 falls into this philosophy as well. But the 66 actually having a turbine engine is one of the reasons, surprisingly, I actually didn't like this helicopter originally. Because to me the whole point of the Robinsons, like I mentioned, is to keep the cost down. And it's one of the biggest problems with a turbine engine in the world of aviation as it does dramatically increase the cost. $100 billion. As you can see, being a similar helicopter to the 44, the 66 is somewhere around $350 to operate per hour, where the 44 is going to be somewhere more around $190 per hour. However, the reason I've come around on the Robinson R66 is if you have watched this channel for a little while, you've probably picked up on the fact a turbine engine might be one of the most desirable features in a helicopter. And there are too many advantages to go over in this video. And sooner or later, I would like to do a video on this channel just specifically discussing turbine versus piston powered helicopters. And I think one of the best examples to look at is the difference between the 44 and the 66. Because these helicopters are fairly similar in size, although not exactly the same except for this major difference in the engine. So if you are looking for the high performance of a turbine engine in a helicopter but you are trying to keep the cost down then I certainly think this Robinson R66 is a helicopter to look into. And because of this higher performance turbine engine with the low operating costs certainly makes this a great economical candidate for a utility helicopter. And besides these advantages it's also a great utility helicopter because just like other Robinsons, I would certainly say there's a wide amount of accessories available for this helicopter. I would say this includes standard utility helicopter accessories you might think of, like an external cargo hut, or just like it sounds, carrying external cargo below the helicopter. There's also, like other Robinsons, a police version of this helicopter. And I believe also as well now, there is a news version. And both these helicopters are essentially, like you probably would imagine, camera helicopters. So if you are doing video utility work, the R66 could certainly be one of the cheaper options. And there are also certainly versions of this helicopter available with external emergency floats, which are a great option if you're doing a lot of work or flying over water. And I will mention briefly, like other Robinsons, and actually unlike most turbine helicopters, which like I mentioned the R66 is, the R66 has its engine down actually fairly low still, which is good to keep a low center of gravity, which I would say is important when landing in the water. And if you are looking for other accessories, like, but not limited to, air conditioning, and even autopilot, and even actually crazier than that, is heated seats. However, that does get me to the back seat of this helicopter, and I guess the seating in the R66 in general. I'm going to, like a lot of this video, compare the seating to the R44. And while the R44 can only seat four passengers, the R66 actually is certified 
and has seating for five passengers. And to accommodate this, the helicopter is even wider. However, I'm gonna say it's not that much wider. And again, this is a helicopter I've never been in, but I think in general, you're really only gonna wanna have two adults in the back seat to sit fairly comfortably. However, this doesn't knock the seating too much for me. Because again, like I said, it is more comfortable than an R44, and R44s can be a little cramped, especially for adults. And having that extra seat in the back is a great option if you wanna use it in a pinch to carry an extra person, if let's say you don't have to go very far. Or if you plan on carrying carrying kids around in this helicopter. I think if you had a kid or two in the back seat, having three people in the back would obviously not nearly be as cramped. And on top of it, compared to the R44 and probably most small piston helicopters, this also has a very welcomed addition of a fairly decent cargo compartment in the back that I believe can carry somewhere around 300 pounds. So with these seating options like I already mentioned and this cargo compartment, there certainly are a lot more options as far as your carrying capability with this helicopter, especially if you're going to compare it to the R44 like we've been doing. Because on top of it, having that turbine engine, this helicopter does have much better carrying capabilities. And as with some of these helicopters, you can also put on an additional 43 gallon ferry tank, which extends the endurance of this helicopter up to five and five and a half hours, which is pretty incredible for a helicopter, especially a small helicopter like this. There's also an even really modern option to have the standard lead acid battery replaced with a lithium battery, which drops the weight of the battery from 42 pounds down to 16. It's actually a decent amount of useful load as far as it goes in aviation. However, I do believe if you also want the option of a higher capacity battery, the only option currently available is a 52 pound battery. And there is advantages to having a higher capacity battery, which is again something I'm not going to fully go into in this video. But just one advantage is if you do lose your engine or your alternator, which would cause the aircraft to stop producing electricity, all you have left is your battery. So the higher the capacity of that battery, basically, the longer the emergency systems on the helicopter can stay active. So there really are a crazy amount of options for this R66. And there's even more to talk about. But the last one I'll mention here is there certainly are a crazy amount of avionics options, especially if you buy this right from the factory. And if you're not aware, the avionics is a lot of the controls and monitoring systems that you see in the cockpit of any aircraft. And this might be one of the most customizable aircraft as far as avionics goes from the factory. And it's certainly one of the most customizable helicopters there are out there on the market. You can go to their website and almost play around building your own helicopter like a lot of modern car manufacturers have had on their websites where you can play around and customize their cars. Robinson has certainly made the helicopter version of that. Well, my favorite enthusiasts, that's gonna wrap up this video. And like always, thank you so much for making it to the end, and certainly hope you enjoyed learning about the Robinson R66. If you did, I'd certainly appreciate a thumbs up down below. And as well, if there's any aircraft or vehicle you'd like to see a video of, I've always interested to hear about it down in the comments below. And until next time, I'm James Bodie, and you've been watching Relative Motion.